I'm Dr Karen Horridge and I have the pleasure of serving as the Chair of the British Academy of Childhood Disability and in this capacity I've been invited to write the editorial for uh, Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology, published 2017. Good care matters. Evidence of variation in outcome opportunities for disabled children and young people exist from my own observations, from those of my colleagues and from published papers and reports. These variations include in access to health surveillance as well as aspects of clinical care and impact on symptoms, outcomes and in some cases lead to premature death of disabled people. Diagnostic precision matters as this informs proactive health care that is tailored to the multifaceted needs of disabled children, young people and their families. Support and information, however, should be available from as soon as needs are identified and not be dependent on making a diagnosis, which isn't always possible. Environmental factors matter. Positive, can-do attitudes can make the world of difference, but cost nothing, as evidenced in the freely available resources of Disability Matters, completely co-produced with disabled children, young people, parent carers and other experts. These resources are full of top tips about the environmental and attitudinal adjustments that can make a positive difference. I commend to you also the quality principles for paediatric disability services produced by the British Academy of Childhood Disability and available on our website. These explain the biopsychosocial model of disability as promoted by the World Health Organization's International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health, the ICF. They're set out for families, for, for professionals and for those who fund services when, why and how to make a referral, what to expect from a high quality service, what can be measured by way of outcomes and where to access support and information whilst waiting for an assessment or for a diagnosis. There is a gap to be bridged internationally before all disabled children and young people have the best and equal outcomes. To bridge this gap, accessible, responsive, competent, caring clinical networks need to be in place in all localities. There needs to be further research to evidence the effectiveness of interventions. Everyone everywhere in our societies and communities needs to develop enhanced positive can-do attitudes towards everyone who is different or disabled. All of this should be based on a culture of listening to what disabled children, young people and their families tell us matter most to them. Nothing about me without me. Thank you for listening. Please share this podcast and the editorial with your colleagues. Thank you.